Welcome to a sunny Riga, Latvia. Riga is the capital city of Latvia and is located along the Baltic Sea at the mouth of the Daugava River. From Vilnius, it's an easy four hour bus journey. We opted for the Ecolines bus on the way there and then used the Flix bus company on the way back. Both were comfortable and clean, but I think I preferred the Flix and would definitely use their service again. Good morning from a sunny Riga, Latvia. It's my first time here despite living only about three hours away for the last two years, but uh, I'm excited to be here for a couple of days to explore and show you around. It's such a beautiful spring day and uh, I think there's lots to see and do, so let's go. I started the morning with an absolutely delicious coffee from Calave Espresso, which was so busy we had to grab a seat outside. Then it was time to head towards the Old Town to explore. There's a beautiful park and canal on the edges of the Old Town where we could feel some sunshine. This is where you'll find the Freedom Monument, which is a 42 meter or 137 foot statue dedicated to the Latvians who lost their lives for fighting for independence between 1918 and 1920. There are guards on duty and there's a small guard changing ceremony every hour on the hour between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. The old town of Riga is where the city has its roots. It was built here originally back in the 13th century. Most of the earlier buildings were lost by fire or war, but it's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site packed with sites like the House of the Blackheads, which is a Gothic style building that was originally built in 1334. Then there's the Riga Cathedral, which is an evangelical Lutheran church and the centerpiece of the city of Riga with a beautiful square around it. Another church not to miss is St. Peter's Church, which dates back to the 15th century and has a 123 meter or 403 foot spire with a viewing platform you can go up and visit for the stinging fee of nine euros. After doing some exploring, I was getting hungry. So I headed for lunch at a place that so many people recommended, Lido. Lido was founded in 1987 and was one of the first private enterprises to be created in Latvia after independence. It's still owned by the same family today and it has several locations around Riga, but this one is only about a block away from the cathedral. It's a cafeteria style restaurant where you pour your own drinks and then choose what hearty home cooked food you want at the counter. You pay for what you choose and prices are incredibly reasonable. Then you take your tray and find a table. Riga is a great city for nightlife. It's perhaps most well known amongst foreign tourists as a place to come for bachelor and bachelorette parties, since it's a relatively cheap place to visit compared to other Northern European cities. And we saw quite a few of them while we were here. But more my speed were the abundance of great breweries and small craft beer bars that are scattered all over the city. My favorites were Labietis, Mieges and Co, and Muija. Another great coffee shop that I loved so much I went back for a second visit was Mitt Coffee. Just on the edge of the Old Town, this place has tons of indoor seating and the best flat white I've had in the Baltics. After fueling up with coffee, we went to what I think is one of the most fascinating places in all of Riga, the Central Market. This market is the largest market in Europe and one of the most notable structures from the 20th century, which has made it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The structure and design of the market came from two old German Zeppelin hangars that were left over from World War I. Inside the market, you'll find everything from fruits and vegetables to dried goods, stalls with prepared foods like dumplings or burgers, raw and smoked fish, bakeries, cured meats and cheeses, and even clothing. The market spills out into the street where there are more stalls selling produce, clothing, kitchenware, and flowers. 
Head a few blocks to the imposing Stalinist-style Latvian Academy of Sciences that was built in 1961. Another great thing to do in Riga is to walk, jog, or grab an electric scooter and scoot along the Daugava River. There are paths along the side of the river and footpaths on the bridges that lead to the other side where you find more parks and the stunning National Library. No trip to Riga would be complete without a wander around the Art Nouveau quarter. Art Nouveau architecture makes up roughly a third of the buildings in the center of Riga, which makes it the city with the highest concentration of Art Nouveau architecture in the entire world. Most of these buildings date from between 1904 and 1914. There's even an Art Nouveau museum, which was closed on my visit, but would be a wonderful place to head to learn more. I was so lucky to have such amazing spring weather on my trip to Riga, so one of my favorite things was simply to get lost amongst the different side streets in the old town, wandering through the parks and sitting on a bench in the sunshine. There was a lot of green space around the city center and plenty of beautiful churches that are dotted all over the city. It's hard not to see a spire from any point in the city, but it was especially noticeable when I crossed the Daugava River to see the city from a distance. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Riga with me. It is such a cool city. It's helped that it's been blue skies. It's been warm. We've been taking our coats off and sitting in the sunshine, walking along the river, but it really is such a beautiful city. Great old town, really clean. People are super friendly here. Uh, so we've been able to get around and, and explore and learn a little bit more about the city. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.